exciting. I have been out and I have been to, I love to go to the fabulous fresh market. I cannot afford to shop there, but today I did because I had to get y'all, this is the most beautiful, look at this Swiss shard, oh, busting out of the bag. And I have some, what is the most beautiful cilantro I have ever seen because I'm gonna come to y'all later with a little Swiss shard burrito wrap and some fabulous creamy dressing. And furthermore, I, I got this vintage find. Don't worry, there's nobody else on the road but me. Look at this! For one quarter, I'm gonna hang this up and it is gonna be beautiful. And I got to talk to the people about yard sale and, um, cause there's always a yard sale, you know, it's Saturday. And so I was saying, um, oh, y'all seem really happy. And, uh, and the more I got to talking to them, guess what? Vegans! They were vegans and we talked about the love and glory of fresh plant food and then just then when I first of all I went to Aldi and y'all have to see the haul BAM I got for 20 bucks a cold $20 bill and I have racked up and I'm gonna be making some extravaganza of raw food today and I may even I may even have a guest over I don't maybe I'll serve someone other than myself and a spoonful to Christopher but I went into Aldi first, and I saw a couple of people I knew in there, and they were, I don't know, feeling the morning after effects of whatever the heck they did last night, and then I went into the fresh market. Well, I was getting, they had free water there, and I was just getting a sip of water while I was in there, and um, I said, I was asking the lady, um, what kind of water is this, because it was really good. Tasted really clean and yard yard sale. Let's go. And so, anyway, I was asking her about that, and and I, I said, she told me that I said, well, duh, it says right here. Aren't you? Don't you get tired of people asking that? She said, well, the worst thing than that is when people ask me, do I work here? And she's like decked down in her all green apron with Fresh Market, her name tag, her green shirt. She's like, really, would I wear this somewhere else? I was like, probably not. I said, well, you know what? That's as bad as when people, I've been living on a raw vegan lifestyle for, you know, seven years, and, and I went into that a little bit. And I said, and every dang day of my life, people say, hey, where get your protein? And she was like, really? Because my daughter, she's 17 and she's, she's gone vegan and she's been vegan for several months. And she's telling me about the social situations that she's having a little trickiness with. And I said, I can help you. She can, does she watch YouTube? And she said, oh yeah, she's always on there. I said, I have a few cards in my pocketbook and it has our channel on there, you know? And I said, she can tune in and we're a community and we live and love and support each other about social situations, the mental difference you have to have to sustain this lifestyle. Please have her come. And I was telling her how my daughter strives for raw vegan and how she's been a vegan and all this. And I was having a total conversation with this woman and, and I loved her. I really did. Now this, I don't see the yard sale and I could be on a sidetrack, but I love this neighborhood. This is a very old timey part of our town called Converse Heights where they have very unique old houses and it's a very expensive place to live which means their trash could definitely be Tanya's treasures, right? But um, I don't see it though. Okay, so anyway, you know, I wanted to just remind you that my goal in talking to y'all is not to complicate your life. It is to simplify. You know what I mean? I think that low-fat raw vegan, low-fat high-carb vegan, more raw every day can be so simplistic and just ease your mind of all these choices. You know what I mean? Um, coming to you where you are right now like I always do you know um, I mean basically if you needed to you could frankly live off greens and amano fruit for a long time and, and thrive um, the abundance of the life we can live in this you know that's what I was just talking to the lady at the store about because I'm <gasps> here it is yard sale Oh, they have baby things. I have a grandbaby, and he likes some things, and I like to get them cheap, or he can't get any. But, um, 
you know, when we're, when we're consuming simplicity, we can digest more too, right? Um, the healing power that are in greens to detoxify yourself, rejuvenate. You know, don't you feel the difference when you eat the plant food? Don't you even feel the difference when you eat the low-fat plant food? Don't you feel the difference when you eat the raw plant food? Do you feel the power? Do you understand the power yet? All we really need is a knife and a cutting board, you know? Really a knife and a plate. Do you have that? It is nice to have a blender though because I use mine all the time. But if you have a cheap blender, you know what? You can use that too because you can add a little more water. You can, you know, blend some first, blend it down, go in, add a little bit more, blend it down. You don't have to have a $500 Vitamix. You know, I've had a blend tech in the past too, and an Omni blend, which I got refurbished very cheap. And it was, it's a Dynamo blender. I still have it. I keep on trying to trade my friend Jackie out for some hairdo with that. But, um, you know, when, when we do, when you cut your foods too, make sure you're chopping really small because remember, the smaller the pieces, the less your digestion has to work. You know, you're going to be assimilating these nutrients better. And when you blend them, you're busting up the cell wall. It is like an infusion without having to go to to juice, you know, which is a hard habit for most people to maintain because frankly, Number one, it's hard to afford that on and on. I almost went broke when I had to live on juice and I had to do it because I had to live and I could not digest any food, you know? Um, it, it's, a, it's a habit that you can keep with you. You know, that's the only habit that's worth anything or the only health notion worth anything, what you can keep up with, what you're gonna continue to do, you know? But it, it is just a difference when you see this world in the light and beauty we're intended to live in it and, and intended to see, you will start to see people that live in the light and love also. Today I've seen two people. I made two friends in that grocery store. I noticed their name. One was Joan and one was Sarah. And when I go in there, I'll remember their names because I'm right now mentally putting a picture to Joan I'm putting a picture to her because she had on that um, fresh market outfit and she said, did it look like I would wear this? Well, that looked like a cross. And you know, Joan of Arc, they basically put her on a cross, took her down, you know, kind of thing. Um, burn her at the stake. So I'm thinking about Joan with that cross and I'll remember she's Joan when I see her. This is how I remember things. <laughs> so anyway, in just a little bit, we'll have a, a burrito. And we will have some dressing that I know y'all are going to love today. See you later. Bye.